we are likely in the next three to five years or in the next five to ten years to be involved in a war between China and the United States. Former Major General and Liberal Senator Jim Molan says Australia must develop a national security strategy to prepare for war. Let's go to this next clip. This is Australian Senator Jim Milan, former Major General on Communist China. Cutting edge night vision helmets soon to be distributed to more than 5,000 ADF personnel. It's part of the Morrison government's record $270 billion investment in defence capability over the next decade. The ADF has never been better than it is now. And according to some, there's a reason for that. We are likely in the next three to five years or in the next five to ten years to be involved in a war between China and the United States. Former Major General and Liberal Senator Jim Molan says Australia must develop a national security strategy to prepare for war. A war is more likely now than it's been probably for 75 years. And security experts agree. It's certainly a much higher risk than we've seen for a long, long time. There are also concerns that the United States, our most powerful ally, is not at its greatest military capacity. In 1991, the US Navy was 600 warships strong. Now it's less than 300. There's limits even to what the Americans can actually do. Labor says speculating about war is only making a bad situation with China worse. What we need now is a calm and strategic approach from Scott Morrison. Others within the coalition believe that we shouldn't be arguing with China. Rather, we should send officials to Beijing to try and repair the damaged relationship. Former Deputy PM Barnaby Joyce told Seven Sunrise that Scott Morrison should not have demanded an inquiry into the origins of the coronavirus. You don't walk into the pub and pick a fight with the biggest person and think that you're not going to get punched back. One thing everyone agrees on, the current environment is extremely volatile. Jennifer Beshwati, Seven News. Did you hear that capitulation? China's basically taken over Australia. They've taken control of all their earth minerals. They've bought off most of the city leaders. They implemented the lockdowns there. And so the Australian central government's trying to struggle away right now. That's what's happening. But you heard the appeasement of some of the Democrat labor leaders saying, oh, you don't mess with the big guy. You do what they say. These are the Neville Chamberlains of our age. And now they're putting in their agent, Joe Biden, into the White House. That will only make them more aggressive. God help us. Three, two, one. Here we go. It's back in stock. It's been sold out for over eight months. We couldn't get it because the lockdown pollen block is back in stock.